Just a quick one for all my fellow teachers in England. What's your lesson plan looking like tomorrow? Tomorrow morning's lesson plan? Are you willing to share it? Because I tell you what, we are. don't be expecting to get much done tomorrow. I reckon you're going to see a spike in traffic towards the Twinkle website at maybe 8.20 tomorrow morning where every colouring in page is just being printed off. It's like, right class, first thing this morning, I thought we'd do some like mindful colouring in while I just let this caffeine kick in because I'm not going to lie, bit of a sore head this morning. And I'm not saying this as I think it's going to be staff with the sore heads, it's your students as well. Most of them are going to be staying up to watch the game and if that game goes to extra time penalties, it's going to be a late one for everyone. A word of warning for any teacher thinking, oh no, I'm just going to crack on like usual, just get through maths first thing. You're living in a dream world if you think anything you teach tomorrow morning is going to go in when these kids are just peeling their eyes open because of that tired. You are going to be fighting a losing battle. You've just got to hope it does come home tonight because there'll be nothing worse than teaching children tomorrow morning when they're tired beyond belief and it didn't come home. At least if it does, there's a bit of energy, a bit of enthusiasm. Your class are going to be buzzing. And if it does come home, I've got a little idea for you. Why not kill two birds with one stone? A bit of choral poetry, performance poetry linked in with British values. Children, we're going to learn a poem this morning off by heart. Daffodils by William Wordsworth. No. What we're going to do is we're going to learn the John Barnes rap from World in Motion by heart so we can recite it as a class in assembly later. Just wanted to spread that awareness that I think for most of us tomorrow morning is going to be a real struggle. We're going to go into survival mode. I love the school who's just basically turned around and said, listen, parents, if you can get the kids in by like half ten, will be happy. There's a school that knows its local community extremely well. And look, if tomorrow is a write-off, if we end up in survival mode, so be it. I'm here for it. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing, this. It's never happened in my lifetime, in the 39 years I've been here, that England men's football team have won a major trophy. It might be the only time it happens, so we've got to just embrace it. It might finally, finally come home. And if it does... What are we going to do about the song, by the way? Are we just going to continue to sing It's Coming Home or are we going to have to change it to It Came Home? But I don't know if that fits. But there you go. There's another spag lesson for you. If you I'm just snowballing now. They're just coming to me. Let's look at Tennessee's children about how we used to sing It's Coming Home and now it's come home. Who knows? But listen, make the most of it. Embrace it and enjoy it because I just really hope it happens.